Hello and welcome back people, my name is Roger Afshar, this is Chris Bridgen, super serious video people, watch this to the end okay, <laughs> because today's video is about fulfilment of Bible prophecy that we are seeing right now. Mm. Yeah guys, so it's been uh, three months since we last showed you the, uh, uh, the last lot of mass animal deaths and uh, today we're looking at some of the major uh, marine life kills from April this year up until uh, today and we've left out all the kills that a man made and uh, later on we'll be talking about why we're looking at this particular subject. Okay, let's begin with the first headline. Uh, April the 5th, New Zealand, uh, mass pilot whale stranding on west coast and uh, all 38 pilot whales died. April the 23rd, this is Chile, uh, tons of marine species and these were uh, sea worms and they washed up. Now according to authorities, algae was the cause of death. Uh, May the 6th, Malta, great jellyfish invasion in various seashores in Malta. And uh, a maritime biologist said there are millions of jellyfish in seashores. And uh, they most probably arrived earlier than usual uh, and in larger quantities due to the drought and hot period in January. May the 7th, Philippines, fish kill affects 100 hectares or 247 acres of fish ponds. And that's a huge area. Unfortunately, no images, but what's different about this one is the fish die-off started after an earthquake was felt in the area, and the earthquake could have released ammonia gas from the ground into the fish ponds and suffocated the fish with depletion of oxygen. So guys, I know, I do, we know this because we've been doing this for a few years now, some of you are going to be itching to say, oh, it's happening because of chemtrails, or it's happening because of harp. Like, guys, just, like, calm down a second, okay? The report is saying that it's either algae or a release of a gas due to an earthquake. In our last video we done this, it was down to cold, unseasonal weather, an unbalance, and this whole shift is happening around yeah. the world. So, so, so people, again, we're not anti-conspiracy. We're not anti-conspiracy. Yes, there are chemtrails, but it, but if you don't know that the chemtrail hasn't caused these specific events, then don't say it because that's really misleading. It's anti-scripture it's anti as well, and uh, it's, it's anti what, what the mm. facts are. Um, because it's saying, in these various headlines, which you'll see, uh, it's due to the, the elements that are causing this. And, uh, you know, it's factual when, yeah. when you do, when it gets very cold or very hot, animals suffer and die because of that. Mm. So uh, there is, there's got to be a cause and effect of that. That's, that's how life is. It's this imbalance going on that's causing this. So, so we're with you. We're on the same side, people. But as Chris goes through the headlines, listen to the reasons why these are mm. happening. And well, we'll talk about the scripture afterwards as well. So we're not mm. going to miss that bit out. Okay, moving on, guys. May the 15th, Mexico, more than 200 tonnes of fish died. Drought has caused the death of species such as catfish, carp, tilapia in five lagoons. Uh, May the 26th, the Vietnam, tons of fish die. Uh, the initial cause was due to erratic weather. Hot sun and long lasting floods are detrimental to growth and reduce the ability of fish to resist and develop disease. Uh, May the 29th, Australia, 1.35 million fish deaths prompt call to empty waterway of farms. Uh, the deaths were mainly due to an outbreak of a virus. Uh, the virus can be exacerbated by stress caused by heat, low oxygen, and this summer we've seen some elevated temperatures and clearly some concerns about oxygen. May the 30th, Texas, heat and lack of oxygen suffocated thousands of fish at Houston Yacht Club. Take a look at the video. In this case, the shad found themselves with not enough oxygen. Yesterday it was a little bit stronger. Uh, if the fish keep popping up, it'll get really, really bad. Right now, this mess at the Houston Yacht Club seems straightforward. There's been other reported cases in our area. Same scenario, stagnant water and hot temperatures. And finally, June the 8th, Canada, algal bloom hits seafood farms in British Columbia, killing 250,000 salmon or 1,000 tons of fish. And guys, if you are new to these uh, mass animal deaths, this is not some one-off event that's happened just this year. Uh, according to statistics from the WWF released in 2016, uh, from 1970 to 2012, 36% of marine life is gone. Now guys, we know it's some of that's because of uh, chemical spills, uh, overfishing, uh, but also there's the elements which also cause the death of marine life. And uh, as you've just heard, 
we've covered uh, some of those. So guys, this is very, uh, very serious. Now, the reason why we're bringing this to your attention is because in Revelation chapter 8, verse 9, it says, and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. So there is a prophecy that speaks about in the future, one third of the sea will die. Now, we are not saying that this has happened, but we believe we are seeing the formation uh, of this prophecy. We are building up to that. And all these deaths that are caused by the elements are warning signs from God that something really bad is going to happen in the future. And then it's consistent. Month it's, after month, it is year consistent. after year, yeah. and the scientific reports, which we completely lean on, we lean on the science to prove the scripture correct. Mm. And that's kind of worrying, really. And there is also a huge acceleration of extinction. Mm. And animals can't keep getting... You can only be extinct once. Mm. <laughs> you, they don't right. come back. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So don't be giving these patterns and cycles to us, because it doesn't make any sense. And in a couple of videos ago, we put up, a, a Res mentioned, a, a chart from the 1950s, which talks about the, the natural disasters that have occurred in the world from 1950 to 2012. There's been a massive acceleration. And uh, we put up another chart besides that. And I was talking about the, the, the decline of religion in America from the 50s until mm. the 2012. And it, it did the opposite. The, these mm. natural disasters increased like that. But religion was like that. And guys, it's, it's, this, this is why these things are happening, we believe, because man is turning from God. And this is a cause and effect mm. of warnings and judgments from God. Yeah. And it is prophetic that God will he will take a third of the life. And if you're still oven and iring, if you're scoffing or you're not sure, well, the Bible has made a big shout, people. The Bible has forewarned thousands of years ago mm. that there will be a decline in Christianity. There will be a great falling away. It's happening. And, it's, and it has also said there will be a decline in the sea creatures. And it's happening. And the instability. Yeah. And the wars that are going on. And the rumours of wars. And Israel is going to be surrounded by all nations. Could you imagine Israel being surrounded and there's a war going on? You know, it's pretty tense. But how big a shout is that? Test it. Look at, Look into it. Mm, mm. And um, ultimately come to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's yeah, what it's about. Yeah, that's right. You know, this, these signs are really, uh, it's warning people to say, hey, you know, time is short. For the coming of the Lord Jesus, He will come back mm. as promised, mm. Mm. and we need to get right. We need to get ready. Mm. We need to come to Him. We need to repent. We need to give our hearts, our lives to Him, mm. and we need to receive Him as Lord and Savior uh, before before you know time's up. Mm. Okay, people, changing gears. Please keep watching, okay? Because this is my favorite part of the video. This is the mission work that you guys have been funding. You're funding. Uh, teams and teams of pastors and evangelists to go out in Pakistan to give out Bibles and to visit the sick and to visit the people that are hungry for the Word of God and uh, mm. it's incredible what you guys are doing. Take a look. And we are here to distribute the Bibles in, in remote areas where uh, the Bibles are so unnecessary here and we we'll love to share about about this area surroundings here you can uh, look around this this is uh, uh, the outside of uh, uh, the city and quite after a few hours we will distribute the Bibles here. Please keep in prayer so that we can reach such areas more and more. Thank you very much brother and sisters.
it's brilliant to see what's going on guys if mm. you want to get behind and push this project forward uh, you can see the prices on the screen or the costs on how much it costs to do this the big one there is a hundred bibles costs around 540 dollars get asked that all the time so if you want to help you can see the instructions now okay great yeah excellent uh, well thank you all so much for your support guys it's been fantastic it's ongoing and we really really appreciate you yeah. and uh, more than you probably realize so uh, yeah just just thank, thank you thank you so much yeah. Up, yeah just one thing that's been on our heart um, we're going to mention this in the future as well we really do want to push now towards the 1 million subscribers so if you can subscribe to the channel if you do want to support us you can simply do that by pushing that subscribe button and we're doing this because it will grow the mission and it's not from a, not from us it would really want to grow. so just subscribe to the channel um, if you if you want any prayers put them in the uh, comment section below we read every single comment so please do reach out to us mm. uh, we love you guys and uh, we see you soon